Hello and welcome to another Tech Hard Pro video. In this video, I have gotten a new upgrade, and as you can see, it's about a graphics card the RTX 3060. Now, this is the EVGA variant you probably have seen it many times before. I'm mostly doing this upgrade because of Blender, the 12 GB of RAM, the ray tracing be pretty useful for me. So we will see the performance difference between my 1660 and this current one. I got the box for the 1050 that I used to have years ago. I sold it with the computer that I had, the old build. This is the new build that I have. You probably have seen in older videos and stuff. It's just that it filled with um, very loose stickers. So I will cut into basically the benchmarks and the unboxing. Ah, oh, yeah, unboxing, of course. I will do it. It's just that I don't have the space, so I don't know where to do it. Ah, oh, yeah, I know where to do it. I'll just record where I do a voiceover. In this voiceover, I have already tested the car. I have used it for a few days now, and it runs pretty good it actually runs colder it seems than my uh, 1660 ti or at least the computer is colder i hasn't been um, exhausting as much heat so and the fans turns off which is actually pretty cool it, it turns off when in idle and then it's it spins when it is being used but it spins slower the temperatures are fine. I think it was like 64, 60, like it's, it's was, it was not getting to 70. The card is very good actually. Like it actually seems to be the biggest, well not the biggest upgrade, but it's the best upgrade I have gotten. It's not just, oh, better performance and that's it. No, this is like more features too, because of course it has the RTX feature, it has ray tracing, it has the LSS, and DLSS is way better than TAA. Like it run, it makes games run better. But it also the picture quality. You don't. I don't think I even notice any dropping picture quality compared to TAA. TAA just looks blurry. DLSS in balance mode or quality mode, it just looks good or very similar to native. The current test that I did on this video. Uh, I record that the day that I got the card um, I only made with the games on the same settings as I used to have in the 1660 Ti so they may not be as much of an upgrade from that point of view but after getting in a few days of using it I did have a big noticeable upgrade now the biggest upgrade will be in blender my render times went lower like more than twice as fast it renders more than twice as, as fast not three times just 2.5 times let's say so here i will just put up the tests and uh, enjoy it current performance with the rt um, with the 1660 ti here Game is maxed out, all maxed out settings, except for RTX because it doesn't work on this card. But yeah, here, here's the settings. Oh, and resolution is one, it's 1080p, but upscale 10% more. Here's a very uh, intense intro. So you can see the frame rates on it. You know, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. 74, yeah, it's just... And looks pretty beautiful too. And here we go. Explosions. Okay, oh, I need to crawl. Alright, 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 alright. I need to actually play. Yeah, grab it. Pew, 100 because it's looking at the sky. Now it's looking at the floor. Boom. Explosion. 40. Ooh, 40. 40 frames that's the lowest but we got an average of like 81 frames somewhere like that 80 86 92 yeah it runs pretty good 
I mean, I'm not. Uh, there's nothing to complain here. It runs pretty good. I'm. I'm not going to test. I'm not going to test in Warzone because Warzone is a pretty um, unpredictable game. We could say at least this cutscene is uh, repeatable, so we can like compare a bit. After 10 years, it finally finished installing the goddamn shaders. Now let's skip the cutscene and see. Same settings absolutely same settings and i'm already seeing the big jumping frame rates actually wow 120 oh that's high frame rate gaming and the high settings like not even high setting ultra setting for the last car i mean now i have dlss and uh, rtx options i would definitely try that and replay the campaign just to see the beauty the beauty the extra beauty of those extra frames oh my Oh right, this is looking nice right now. Boom! Explosion! Oh yeah, I forgot, I need to crawl again. Come on, grab it! Jeez, so it's so slow. Alright. Oh wow, it's over 100! It's not even dropping less than 100, it's always over 100. Oh, 83, 79, even then, this is high! This is high! Oh wow, that, now that's an upgrade. I like this. It's not as big of an upgrade as some people would like to, but for me this is good enough. I mean, I mostly bought this car for the for Blender, but also, I, you know, seeing this, this game in improvement is pretty good. You know, I, I get extra frames to put on something. And I get the LSS. So imagine that. Okay. Now need for speed heat. I'm just going to drive a straight line over here and go to the uh, highway. Max style setting as well, just ultra, but no 110% resolution, just 100% of 1080p. So it's straight up 1080p. Uh, how do I use nitro in keyboard and mouse? I don't remember. Uh, oh, okay, it is this button. All right, then. Just straight line. You can see the frames fluctuating. I'll get to the point where the uh, the frame counter can, like, start getting a proper average. Uh, you go almost that point. 70. The hour skit of the city gets very uh, intense if I drive through the... Uh, so yeah, I mean it's basically 60. If I drive through here, the frames drop. Yep, you see? Frames drop really bad in this area. I don't know. Always when I get like driving through the to the grass, it's, it just drops like crazy. And it's raining, but I don't think rain is pretty affects in this game. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. Need for speed heat now. I had to go out the garage and then come back because um, when you open the game it has to compile shaders in real time so the frame rates were just horrible but now that I, I think it finished compiling and stuff I guess it should run smoothly and smoothly it is it's not using all the GPU power I don't know why you know game is not very well optimized but it still there's improvement in frame rates Instead of getting 60s, now I'm getting 70s. Oh, now oh, it's raining in the game again. Oh, before it was on the uh, sunset preset, so I guess this is cool. Runs way better, but not as good as it should be. But it's still an improvement. There's still improvements here. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Oh, yeah, I need to go to this side. I think it no longer drops frames when going through the woods either. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You see how stable that is? It was stable. 91 frames. 79. 67 is the lowest. 67. The lowest possible. And overall, it is good. It's good. It's a good upgrade. I, no, I'm not complaining. Look at this. Look at this. It's still over 60. It's still over 60 frames. And okay, now it was using 100%. Ooh, okay, okay, this game is not very well optimized. But it's still over 60, so it's a W for me. 
complete. Oh, 56 frames. Did you saw that? All right, all right then. All right, next game. See you after that, sweet home. Yes, I know it's a very specific kind of game to test, but I also play this game, you know, sometimes. I enjoy it. I en I really enjoyed the game. But yeah, we can see like more or less how the frame rates do. Uh, I mean, yeah, it gets to 120, but that's because I'm looking at the wall. If we look at everyone from lobby, let me see. Let me get to lobby without rotating the camera. That's the thing here. All right. So if I stand here, all right, this is the most intense area. I get about 46. Uh, 40 something frames uh, the walk cycle of the people is always randomized so it doesn't really matter also I can op open the options menu and the game still running as you can see it's, stuff is still happening so it should not really fit so I can show you the graphics settings here uh, it's not the highest it's just high because I want to have a balance between good graphics but also keep it uh, getting some some frames and basically I'm getting about <laughs> let's see when the those average drop there you go boom I'm getting 40 something 47 40, 45 right? let's just say 45 and yeah um, it's not very good game is very badly optimized but it is still pretty fun to play Okay, last game. Uh, see you after that, sweet home. Wow. Wow. There's no improvements. Basically runs the same as before. Or maybe slightly smoother, I don't know. I went over here, now I went back. Yeah, yeah, it touched 120 before. And that's expected. That's very expected. Well, there's more girls on the screen, so I guess that's going to make the results a bit less uh, reliable. Um, yeah, there's more girls on the screen. But, uh, well, I mean... Is this... Uh, yeah, 40% GPU usage. That's, that's all you need to see, 40% GPU usage. This game is never going to use all my GPU power. This game is useless to like get a, a, a more powerful car because it's not going to use it anyway. So what's even the point? Let's switch to Blender immediately. I don't even care. Okay, here's a Blender project that I will use to benchmark basically. It's one of the uh, renders that I have made for the banner. Very cool stuff. But um, it's right now using you know, 1.4 VRAM, uh, Blender says the 1.5, okay. Okay, so it's pretty accurate. Let me just uh, enable Cycles. It says Cycles, GPU Compute. Uh, let me just get this, um, actually open the preference so you can see what options do I have here. Optics with the 1660 and the Ryzen 3600. All right, let's just preview because I already did a render before, so I will compare the numbers that I get. I'm just going to see how long does it take to even preview the render view. Right now it's frozen because it's going to use a bunch of VRAM. Look at that number going up. Yep, yep, there you go. It's used up all the VRAM. Let me enable the overlay so we can see how many samples. Okay, 12, 16 is counting. Volumetric lighting at the bottom, that's very heavy. And I also want to know which settings do I have for the... Okay, I do have Simplified Disabled, so it's using all the textures at the highest quality that as we can. And it hasn't finished uh, previewing. But it's using basically all the VRAM here. Basically using six six gigs of VRAM and that's like crazy. It's it's a very intense uh, texture heavy scene. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, we can see here it, it's using quite a lot of VRAM and uh, now we'll be switching cars. So right now I have the 1660 Ti right here. I don't know if you can see. Can I zoom in? Oh man, 
it's not focusing on the on the graphics card right now. That's sad. But yeah, oh man, okay. You see here, here it is. Gaming. G4 GTX. Here it is. Well, whatever. Barely visible. But yeah. That's that's the that's the main reason why I got it. Because of, of Blender. So 12 jigs, more than enough. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, I have the graphics card overclocked a bit with Firestorm, that's the um, official software that uh, it is recommended by Sotac or whatever. And I, I have this exactly like this, as you can see here, this is my overclock settings. Just a bit, a little bit on the clock and stuff. Uh, I think this is the profile that I saved, right? Yeah, it's exactly the same, it's just that the fan speed changed it for some reason. So, yeah, that's that's basically it. The main part of the show, Blender. Again, 1.4 gigs of VRAM at the start. Now you see it's a lower percentage because it has 12 gigs. Uh, I need to check these settings though because uh, since I changed, let's see. So it's going to use optics for the RTX thingy. That's why it is. Optics, I suppose? Okay, well, I guess, I guess that's what it is. Anything else I need to change here? Support? Yeah, I, I guess you're going to use the RTX core, right? Let's just go straight to the uh, render preview. Come on. Come on, Blender. You, 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 you take your time. There you go. Oh no, oh no, I forgot about this. Well, all right, all right then. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll pause. Okay, put the recording back on because I just noticed something. 6.4 gigs of VRAM. That would crash if it was my old GPU. But actually, you see it did not crash that time, last time because it was uh, putting the RAM uh, part of the VRAM on the system memory, now it's not, I suppose. But uh, kernels are still loading and I've been waiting for like a few minutes now. Does it, is it going to actually take longer than Mother Warfare installing shaders, huh? Huh? Is it really going to take longer? Alright, then I'll, I'll pause. Alright, there you go, finish. Holy moly. Okay, just saw it just go flying, flying, look at this, it's flying. Basically flying, uh, yeah, uh, looks like, oh, wow, oh, 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 okay, oh, oh, okay, 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 let's actually render then. If you, if you want to be this fast, let's just actually render in real time, let's see, let's see. Now I loaded the, the kernels and stuff, so it shouldn't take long to just start a render, we already had a preview. Alright guys, the resource store in uh, almost 11 minutes to render this. 124 samples at 4K, 120% more resolution. I right, let's compare, let's compare. This is the numbers that I took screenshot of. Okay, RTX 3060, 1660 Ti. 3060, 1660. 11 minutes, half an hour. You, bro, this is a big ass difference for me. Look, are you kidding? Like, look at this. It's a big difference, big. Big. Here it is installed now. Um, one little detail is that the PCIe cable, power cable, it has to go the opposite direction. So um, it's going to look not very elegant if you have your cable router and stuff. For me, I don't really care as long as it is properly installed. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, look. I did some cable management uh, before, so it's, it doesn't look that bad here. You barely see any cables, and I got the SSDs to have the least amount of cables possible. What I do like though is the backplate being black. Look, it really fits. 
you barely see that there's anything new in here. Now the motherboard, motherboard is the only thing left to have a back black. I never got that one before. I mean IHS, whatever. Oh, maybe the black uh, cooler and stuff, but this is also uh, color, the uh, metallic, whatever. Copper heat pipes, which is interesting. And uh, we'll, we'll see if it works. Do you see that? The fans are not even spinning. You don't see anything because the camera is not trying to focus on the damn card. It's trying to focus on the stickers and I don't want that. Because I want you to see that the fans are not spinning. Anyways, you see there nothing is moving. I'm going to open something heavy right now. Let me see. One second. I'm, I'm about to open more water. Fans are still not spinning. It's still like frozen there. Oh man, that's very worrisome. I mean, it hasn't loaded it in 3D yet, so maybe then it will actually spin. Okay, main menu. Main menu. There you go. I'm in the campaign menu. Wait. Okay, alright, alright. I'll go to the multiplayer menu. It needs to install shaders, you got them! This is. Bro, this is annoying! I mean, I got a, a new car and install new drivers, but still, come on, bro. Anyways, look at the fans. Are they even spinning? Uh, I can't... Let's see. Oh, here's the car. Still loading assets. I don't know what is it loading. Wow, okay, I should have launched Need for Speed Heat instead. I keep forgetting, you know, uh, freaking Warzone Modern Warfare is a slow ass game because Raven, thank you Raven There you go, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning because the menu there, there's a 3D menu, there's something rendering 3D now Alright, there you go It's actually spinning now Yeah They're doing some work